Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai Overkill with a 2.4 GDI engine or any GDI engine actually guys if you feel engine vibrations guys from the GDI engine we will explain top things that can cause that and one of those we hope it's not the case because it can cost you guys quite a bit of uh, money and actually uh, many hours of repair so all that will be covered in this video today make sure to stay until the end and we will explain what we are talking about before we start let me just tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos if you need to buy any parts and tools check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get Get all our tools and supplies from. With that being said, let's explain what we have specifically here. This is a 2.4 GDI engine. If you guys experience engine vibrations, okay, what is the number one cause for engine vibrations? It will be your engine mount, guys. This is an engine mount right here. The engine mount holds the engine on one side, it will be right here on one side, it will be holding the engine. On the other side, it will be laying on the car body. And the purpose of the mount is actually to reduce the vibrations and to allow some engine movement but you don't feel that vibrations. The mounts often are even hydraulic filled, like this one has fluid inside so it can catch even the smallest vibrations so you have one smooth running Hyundai or Kia vehicle. But when they fail guys the rubber can crack, break, develop a play the fluid may leak in some cases and those vibrations will be felt inside so this is the number one cause for engine vibrations bad engine mount and we have a special video that explains how to fix it number two what else uh, you can have guys you need to scan the engine computer for any codes that's the scanner that we are using right here i'll put the link in the description of the video below if you want to uh, find the pricing features many of you ask me about it guys so that's why i'm talking about it but uh, you see it works on Hyundai Kia and almost any car you can think of. Uh, with the help of that scanner you can actually uh, scan and see if you have engine codes. Let's say you have an engine code for cylinder number one misfire. It means you have a bad, most likely spark plug, ignition core or fuel injector. And that misfire will actually guys cause your engine not to run properly. Uh, you will lose power and you will feel engine vibrations as well. Another thing that can easily cause that guys Okay, will be problems with the fuel delivery system, dirty fuel filter, malfunctioning fuel pump, uh, dirty fuel injectors or having water in the fuel system as well. Number four guys, okay, you hope that's not the case. In some cases, okay, in some cases it could be jump timing chain. So if you have a hard time starting the car, it runs unbalanced, it has no power, it has codes related to camshaft, crankshaft correlation, anything like that, anything from code P0010 to P0017, guys, it could indicate that you may have problems with the timing chain and jump timing chain. Jump timing chain can cause multiple vibrations. First, the engine will not be running correctly. Second, guys, the timing chain actually Actually, okay, is actually responsible for the uh, uh, for the oil pump as well. And on the oil pump, you have a balance shaft. That balance shaft actually is the one that uh, it's called a counterbalance shaft. That what makes your engine uh, uh, silk, uh, silky smooth, guys. Uh, so when the engine is about to create vibration, okay, from combustion, that one knows where exactly to be at that point by the timing chain, so it can counterbalance that and you have a smooth engine. So if guys somebody messed with the counterbalance shaft it wasn't installed correctly or somebody removed the cam uh, the sprocket on the balance shaft guys it's done you practically need to buy a new one or you need really special tools that are hard to get to to realign it so problems with the counterbalance shaft can cause that as well and in some cases okay it could be even bad camshaft sprockets okay that are malfunctioning that will have almost the same symptoms as having a jump timing chain as well so uh, those are the most common things but just be prepared for uh, for engine mount that will be most likely uh, if you had the car yourself and it's never been taken apart probably you don't need to worry about the counterbalance shaft okay but if you have engine light and code check it and see okay what it says and that can actually fix your vibration hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time 